called my family in Tampa and was checking in on them because I was like, if it's this bad here, I wonder what it's like there. Well, rescues continue this morning after Hurricane Helene made landfall in Florida as a Category 4 storm. This was just so widespread that people as far as Atlanta are feeling the effects. And this morning, we know that three EMTs and paramedics from Waco are helping out in Florida. Yeah, we are also getting a look at some of the damage left by Hurricane Helene, the line of damage stretching for hundreds of miles. Meteorologist Robert Speeder has more from Tallahassee. Tropical storm strength winds being seen here in Tallahassee and even reports of power surges in parts of the city. Even while we were uh, reporting here, occasionally you can hear something that sounds like distant cannon fire. And that's those transformers continuing to explode as the power goes on and off. But in Tallahassee, that's on the west side of the storm. The eastern side of the storm around Perry, down through Taylor County and in the Steenhatchee, that's where they're seeing some of the worst from Hurricane Helene, where that storm surge is expected to be up to 10 to 20 feet. Here in Tallahassee, though, there are seven shelters that have been opened up. Plenty of people hunkering down at the hotels. Even here uh, at our hotel, we're seeing people come in and out throughout the day, mainly in staying here, waiting for this storm to pass. Even if they have a place to be at home, they're just still worried about power outages and those trees falling and uh, uh, things like that. But even along the coast, mandatory evacuations were put in place at 8 a.m. in the morning here on a Thursday, and for good reason because of that threat of storm surge. So. Storm, though, quickly going to be moving away here on our Friday, and conditions will be rapidly improving throughout the day.